Hi, this is Dr. Poojita, consultant obstetrician and gynecologist. We are going to discuss about vaginal discharge. We should know why this vaginal discharge comes and uh, you should definitely know what is the difference between normal and abnormal vaginal discharge. Lots of uh, women come to me with uh, thinking that vaginal discharge is bad. They should never have that vaginal discharge and at the same time they will think that this vaginal discharge is always an infection. So maybe this is going to help you to differentiate from normal and abnormal discharges. So first we should know from where this discharge comes. See the discharge is the secretions which are coming from the glands which are there in the vagina as well as the cervix. So this fluid, what will this fluid do? This fluid cleans all the old cells in the vagina as well as this is indirectly the dirt which is present in the vagina. So this is a beautiful defense mechanism which is present in the vaginas. So this secretions always helps to keep that vagina healthy. This is a the reason there is no need to clean the vagina as such in a separate manner. So what is this vaginal discharge? How to differentiate this abnormal and a normal vaginal discharge. How does a normal vaginal discharge look? It will be just like white, cloudy or thick. See but what happens but this consistency, this quantity and color in the different phases of the menstrual cycle it is mostly dependent upon the hormones. So now what we are going to do how to differentiate this. See let us divide this cycle into three phases like is like after menstruation and during ovulation and after the ovulation. So to after, immediately after the menstruation, the estrogen starts producing. So what does this make? It increases the, it starts increasing the secretions. So at this particular point, maybe from uh, for understanding, it can start from 5th day to 10th to 11th day. At this particular time, the discharge will be little cloudy and thick and uh, it will not have any smell. At the same time, during ovulation, this is the time where we will see the most copious discharge Usually the woman feels wetty. At this time, this uh, discharge will be very thin and it will be stretchy and it will be just like an egg white. This is just like an egg white. So this is a time uh, in between, maybe we can say in between 11 to 16th day for 28 day cycle woman. After this post ovulation, this is ovulation is completed. So after this post ovulation, estrogen will be down and the progesterone dominance will be there. So what happens to this discharge? This discharge becomes quite thick and whitish. So post ovulation, generally this white discharge is always good as in defense mechanism, which will not allow any organism to enter into the uterus. At the same time, as we discussed during the ovulation, that is in between 11th to 16th day, 10th to 10th or 11th or 16th day, at this particular time, this is called as a fertile time because the discharge is thin and it will allow the sperms to enter inside the uterus. So the conceptions will be more at this particular point of time and ovulation sometimes, the fertility ovulation sometimes will be tracked by depending upon this vaginal discharge. And after finishing these three phases, enters into the menstruation. Before menstruation, few ladies can see a brownish discharge, which is just like the waste of this uh, waste which is present in the uterus, which comes out along with the vaginal discharge. Apart from all these things, you say there are few other conditions where you will see the excess vaginal discharge. Pregnancy. If you take pregnancy, this vaginal discharge can be an early sign of the pregnancies. So it will be diagnosed with this also. After sexual intercourse or the women who are taking combined oral contraceptive pills. See when we are taking this combined oral contraceptive pills, there will be an excess estrogen and progesterone. This excess estrogen and progesterone secretes more fluid from the cervix and the vagina. But the different patterns which we usually see in the different menstrual phases will be lost in this because of this constant supply of this estrogen and progesterone, the discharge will be continuously in the same consistency like thick, creamy, white or cloudy but it will be without any signs of infections. So these are the few conditions. So on the whole, as a summary, if a woman has not irritating or not itching, not uncomfortable, without any smell, discharges or normal, if you have anything out of this, better to reach the doctor and seek help. Thank you.